Hello boys and girls, this is Aunt Fernita and I have a wonderful story for you called The Little Maid. Today's memory verse is from Galatians chapter 6 verse 10. It says, let us do good to all people. The message for today's story is we can serve God wherever we are. Do you have work that you do to help at home? Do you help at grandma's house or at the park? At the babysitters? The little maid helped too. The little girl looked around the kitchen. It was bigger than the one at home. There she had often helped her mother make delicious bread and stews. Then the little girl looked around the dining room. She saw a huge table, much larger than the one her family had at home. She saw a broom in the corner and pretty dishes on the table. The little girl was good at sweeping. She was also good at setting the table. She had been taught by her mother just where to put the bowls and plates and cups. The little girl was in the home of a man in charge of the Syrian army. An important man and brave soldier, he had recently led the army in an attack against Israel and he had won. Suddenly a woman in a bright yellow dress came into the room and smiled at the little maid. You must be the little girl my husband Naaman told me about. I'm Mrs. Naaman. You're going to be my helper. Come, little maid, I'll show you what to do. The lady led the little maid down the long hallway. Mrs. Naaman pointed to the beds that needed to be made, the floors to be swept, and the furniture to be dusted. There were clothes to wash and hang out to dry. The little maid soon felt at ease doing many chores. She often worked many hours a day, but she didn't complain or whine. Her parents had taught her to be a cheerful helper and to do the best she could. Mrs. Naaman and Captain Naaman, too, both noticed how good the little maid worked. Everything she did was done well. She didn't give up if something was hard, and she didn't grumble or complain. And guess what? She even smiled while she worked. She was friendly and happy. There was something different about this little girl from Israel. She wasn't like the other servants. How was she different? She knew God. The little maid served God wherever she was, whether at home in Israel with her family or in Syria at the home of Captain and Mrs. Naaman. The little maid could have been angry at Captain Naaman for taking her away from her family, but she trusted God and wanted to serve him wherever she was. You can serve God wherever you are, too. You can help at home by taking your dirty dishes to the sink after you eat. Offer to dust the furniture. Play nicely with your brothers and sisters and share your toys with friends. Smile and be friendly to the children you see at the playground. In all these ways and in all these places, you are serving God. You can serve God wherever you go. This podcast was brought to you by gracelink.net and Studio El Piso. For more children's resources, please visit gracelink.net.